Curious if Goma is still obsessed with self-defense videos. Remember the episode where he talked about getting a Glock 19? I really enjoyed the episode where he talked about the importance of protecting your family and being aware of the dangers that people can sometimes face. Go! I have a Glock 19 Gen 5. Um, I, I am obsessed. Well, I'm not obsessed with it like I was. My my uh, my neighbor, who's a woman who has two kids, her estranged husband came to her house and was smashing her head against several of the walls and then dragged her and their dog out to the driveway. I intervened like an idiot. Um, I walked out and I go, hey, what's going on? And, I re- and then he threatened my life and threatened to murder my family. The next day, he uh, so I took my family out. The guy goes to jail. Um, three days later, he was supposed to be no bail. He made bail immediately. Um, the woman came to my house, said to me, God, oh, this is why I love my wife so much. She said That's to me great. and my You're wife. That's to love her, but you got about 30 seconds. Yeah. She said to my, me and my wife, my, hus- my ex-husband has friends, and please, the next time this happens, just let him kill me. And then my wife said, and I'll never forget this. She said, I could never be married to a man who would not lay down his wife for an innocent person. His life. Is that what you meant? Yeah. Lay down his life. Lay down his life. You said wife. Keep going. Lay down his wife. (laughs) (laughs) Please take my wife. She's fragile. Uh, No, take my life. Mm -hmm. No, she said, I would never be married to a man who wouldn't give his life. And then she looked at her. And for honestly, I felt like it was at the Sermon on the Mount. She was like, do you understand what worth you have? That you are worth dying for. Do you know that Jesus Christ died for you? Your wife said this to her? To her. Yeah. To this woman who was almost in a, a, a out of body. Like, she was just like, Bless her. please don't ever do this. Don't ever do this. And the white truck that they had parked in the driveway, she goes, you don't understand what that truck is. That's his brother who murdered his wife and kids and then himself at a party. And I took the truck. And I was like, oh, my gosh. And after that, I threw holy water on the truck every time I saw it. But yeah, so I still care deeply about my defense.